Welcome back, guys. Today we're gonna to be fitting a knife handle onto a chef's knife. Coming up now. All right guys, last time you saw me, I was forging out this knife. It looks like we've come a little bit farther along. We got it uh, normalized. It is ready for more work. I took a fixture, built a fixture, made a radius, nice tight radius, so I could do this ricasso area. Nice and round, pretty much bulletproof. Fits right in here, plugs in onto the sander. I can uh, put a lot of nice good pressure on that. This fixture is on bearings. Half inch radius, half inch rod. It's a mild rod. Doesn't have to be anything special, just half inch mild rod. It's gotta be straight. And now I'm grinding in the Ricasso. The facets on the Ricasso, here's what it looked like before. And there's what it looks like with the grind in it. This is ground, it's ready to be hand sanded. As soon as I get these facets in, I'm going to fit the handle. When I get the handle fit, then I will hand sand this blade. Stick around for that if you want to see more. We'll do it. Do it right here, right now. got done grinding in my bevels and I got them sanded to 220 grit, blade sanded 220 grit. It's kind of sharp. You always want to protect your blade and tip from yourself. And I am fitting the spacer and I have a silver spacer I'm putting on there. And I'm just fitting them on the tang right now. And we're going to slip a piece of, not this one, but one just like it, a piece of G10 piece of G10 over this. This is a partial takedown. We're gonna glue it up. We're gonna fit the finish, fit the finish. We're gonna fit the handle and finish the handle. Then we're gluing glue it on last. After everything's etched and finished on the blade, then we're going to uh, finish the handle and glue it on last. So there's no hand sanding, <coughs> no buffing to be done. Everything will be finished. You glue the two together, clamp the epoxy be a finished knife. You gotta put some pins from the micarta through the silver into the handle material. I'm gonna be doing that really quick after I fit these pieces. Working on the engraver, setting this spacer up against the Ricasso. If you see right here, I got a little black mark on it, marker. You always want to mark your stuff, make sure it gets oriented the same every time. You don't ever want to turn it or flip it. Always make sure you've got the same spot on there. I got it really close, so I'm just giving it a little love tap. Just to set it on there a little, a little bit better. We'll do that a couple times. We'll actually relieve this spacer and get it to set up on this Ricasso a little bit when it's all said and done. So it'll be a, a beautiful, perfect finish. Fit and finish. Back to the engraver. All right, I had a little high spot. I'm trying to get this thing ready to be glued up. I gotta move on, get this going on. So I've cut a bunch of relief in this, and I think I'm on my final relief cut. I want a perfect finish on the face of this handle where it meets the Ricasso. It's basically going to be kind of an inlay. It's going to set into the Ricasso very, very little. Several ten thousandths of an inch, maybe one ten thousandths of an inch. One one hundred thousandths of an inch. Very, very little. Closer to probably one hundred thousandths. Very, very little. That's just enough to make all of the gaps disappear. That's what we want, a perfect fit. And I think I'm ready to go out and glue up. Love the engraver. Can't live without it. I am putting alignment pins in now. I got that fit. Fits in there like a super snug, hardly any wiggle to it. Now I'm going to put these P50 
pins in here will hold everything in place. These stand still alignment pins. One on each side, so it all holds together like a like a freight train. We got this handle glued up, these three pieces glued together. They fit on there really snug on the tang. Oh, I broke it. Now I got this, this shaped four sides. The top of the blade is, is parallel across here. And I got a little drop down here on the bottom. And these two sides are parallel with a little bit of swell. I got a little bit of swell on the sides. And I have a center line mark so everything's symmetrical. It is actually trapezoid shaped. It's got a little, a little angle to it, but the top and bottom are parallel. Now I'm getting ready to put my marks in here. You got, see I got some uh, black marks on there. I'm getting ready to scribe my marks on here for the facets on the side of the handle. It's going pretty good, a little slow. It's my first takedown, but we're getting it, we're doing it, and I like it. That's gonna allow me to finish the handle, and finish the blade, and glue the two together, and gently clean up. Gently clean up here. No sanding, no scuffing, no scraping, no scratching, no touch up work. Two pieces, glue together, and it will eliminate a lot of cleanup, touch it up, I like that. Last time you saw, I was finished sanding the handle. I got that finished, sanded where I want it. It's a great fit. And I started putting uh, a CA finish on it and it's building up now. We're gonna put maybe 16, 20 layers of CA on it. In the meantime, between that, I started, I finished sanding my knife. I got a thousand grit on the blade. I'm gonna do a, a buffed. So I'm going with uh, 600 on this Ricasso and I'll buff this when I get it to that point. Then I'm going to coffee darken after that. One of my challenges with this knife is getting the height of the heel. I would like to have this, this heel back here a little sharper. I'm working on getting that taller. The Ricasso came out great. I've had a challenge with that. Tang looking real sweet. Profile the knife, but I'd like to have a little bit taller heel right here. That was definitely a challenge drawing this out. I get plenty of length, but I have a, just personally, I have a challenge getting a little bit taller. So it's working but I, I can do better. I think it's, uh, it's a great knife. I made a fixture. You saw that earlier, a fixture to grind this. The fixture's kicking it. It's awesome. I get a good plane. It's a flat surface here, and it, and it makes this nice, sweet radius. Sometimes, it was get, earlier, I was getting these a little thick. With this new fixture, I'm able to sand this. Same time I'm doing this radius, I'm able to sand this flat spot on the heel here, too. So it gets this a lot thinner where it needs to be. Instead of fussing with it later by hand, I can do it right on that fixture. Put pins in the handle for the first time. Uh, Lineup pins, haven't done that before. That was a little challenging, but uh, I like the way it came out. It's pretty sweet. Uh, two lineups, two standstill lineup pins in three parts on the handle. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It lets me know where, what you guys are thinking about what we're showing you. And we'll keep heading in that direction. As long as we keep getting the thumbs up, we'll go that direction consider subscribing because this knife is going to be fit and finished coming up soon.